up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is What's Hood DC. It's your boy, it's your boy Fine Nisam, aka Nisam Love. Um, this episode, I'm gonna give you um, the three nats of the week so far. You know, I'm doing it so well, kind of early a little bit on a Tuesday. <laughs> well, I well, well, it's not three stars of the week yet, so I do that every Friday or Saturday, but I'm gonna give you three stars, three nats of the week so far. The first star I like to start with is the man himself, man. Excuse me. Um, Ryan Zimmerman, man, broke the franchise record. I think two, 236 home runs. Hit the home run, um, I think it was, I think it was like the uh, fourth or fifth inning, I think, I what the actual inning it was, but on, on, uh, on Sunday, Damn, I wish I had a vlog. I wish I would film the vlog for it, but I didn't, so I didn't. Took pictures of it. May um, I might, I might, I might up, I might upload it after I do this, after I do this episode. But um, finish with this video. But um, what I'm gonna do? Um, but anyway, uh, he had two. He broke the franchise record, and um, I think he broke Frank Howard's record. So that's probably been a long, long time coming. But I thought he had kind of more home runs than that. I thought he had at least 300. He probably had more home runs, but uh, but he been injured the last few years, so he been battling injury after injury, and so this is like his be- probably his best year in his career because he made an All Star. He been you know break you know been doing really good, been hitting good. He just such he just been a consistent player all year, so. So I, I think he pretty much could be MVP in my opinion. But um, yeah, man, he been doing his thing. So he been around ever since the um, the team uh, actually came to DC since the organization actually started. So that's how long he been, you know, in this uh, in the in the organization. So he been doing his thing quite a while. So he been he been you know doing his thing and being a consistent player and getting hits. And um, he may not, in a way, may not see a home run guy in a bit, in a way, but he gets you some hits though. He gets you some hits. You know, he changed position quite a bit. You know, he, you know, he started career as a third baseman. Then I think a couple of seasons ago he was uh, out. He, he was in the outfield for a little bit. Yeah, he played in the outfield a little bit. Now he's a first baseman, so. He been you know changed positions you know here and there, but um, you know he's a real position field field player, field position player. So he been doing his thing for a while. So pick up the um, Ryan Zimmerman for breaking the record, franchise home run record for the uh, Washington Nationals. And he did against uh, Game One on Sunday. It was a double header against the Rockies. You know we lost ten to six, but. Um, yeah, so uh, the second start to start with, speaking of that game, that got a pitch in that game, I'll give it to Eric Fetty. It was his Major League debut, even though it was real shaky, real rocky, but, um, yo, know, sometimes, you know, you got to give you know, some pitchers a uh, chance. And so they had to really had to release uh, Chris Heisey to make room for him. So hate to see Chris Heisey go, but um, even though he was made a bench player, a pitch hitter, he started a few games in the, um, as an outfielder, but um, mainly it would take it would take Bryce Harper's spot, or you know, Bryce Harper was out, wasn't playing a start, and he would start, and he was he he was uh, you know good player, you know, but uh, I guess you know sometimes you got to do it for business reasons, and for space reasons as well, so. So good luck to Chris Heisey. So big up to Eric uh, Fetty. I forget. Uh, I think he had a few strikeouts, I believe. And even though he didn't, you know, didn't play up expectations, but um, you know, you gotta give him a chance, cause you know, cause um, I think Strasburg's gonna be out for a little bit. Joe Ross, I'm if he's out for the year. So see you know, how how it go and see how the teams go. So. Big up to Eric Fetty, and um, and last but not least is uh, Gio Gonzalez, man. Uh, he almost is close getting a no hitter, 
So he kind of, you know, gave up a hit in the eighth inning. You know, I didn't see much of the game. But I only see maybe like the last two innings of the game. Because, you know, I was out and about. I was actually actually here, but um, here in uh, um, uh, Tinley Town. So um, I don't know. I just, yeah, so I think yesterday would have been um, Jose Fernandez's uh, um, uh, birth, 25th birthday. So he got a little emotional at the post game interview with uh, Dan Coco. Oh, Coco, I forget, I forget to say his last name, but, um, yeah, so he got a little emotional because you know, him and uh, Jose Fernandez were real good friends. So sad to hear his passing. You know, it's been, it's been almost a year since his passing, so pretty much, a, you know, tragic end. Somebody's so young, and, you know, you know sometimes you got to appreciate life the way it is, man. You know, you can't take life for granted. You never know where you're going to leave this earth, but, um, I was going to get to, um, yeah, so I think he actually only had five strikeouts. I think he gave up a couple walks, but, um, he only gave up one hit. So, once he gave up that hit, he had to pull him out the game. So, um, yeah, because he wasn't guys I'm really looking up forward to seeing the no-hitter. Because a few years ago, I was, yo, know, at National Park, you know, I didn't have a, a camera or a phone then. I had a phone, but not smartphone. That he, uh, I witnessed um, the very first Nationals no hitter was uh, was uh, George Zimmer at Nationals Park, which is the last regular season game that year. So um, that game had me nervous. I didn't know, you know, I thought he had some hits, but uh, it was a great game. And uh, what else I want to get to? Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. But um, yeah, I think back to Gio, but um, yeah, he gave, gave him one hit and. Still doing his thing. Could have made an All Star, really. He should have, but um, he'll probably hopefully make it next year. And um, what's we'll get to? So yeah, so big up to Gio Gonzalez. So so they have three stars up, three nets of the week so far. It's um, Gio Gonzalez, Eric Fetty, and Ron Zerman. And so. So they have folks, three stars, three nats of the week, excuse me, three nats of the week so far. You know, it's only Tuesday, so um, you do it on Fridays. So it's your boy Fine Nisa, aka Nisa Love. Go Nats. So they also face this with the uh, same team of Marlins tonight as well. So go Nats. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Fine Nisa, aka Nisa Love. This is this is the YouTube channel What's Hood TV. Check my shows, What's Hood DC. All the episodes you want, make sure you smash that bell. You get notification for all the episodes and all the vlogs and everything. This is What's Hood DC. Feel free to subscribe, which is me subscribe. Let's go DC. Let's go Wizards, Caps, Nats, Mystic Valor. All the other teams out there. All the Baltimore teams too, Virginia teams, whatever. It's what's her DC. Let's go.